Yo, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. Got the an update content patch. Uh, it's about to drop. Uh, next maintenance in a few hours. Uh, the new hero, Bellona, has arrived. She's an Earth-based Ranger. She has uh, two area attacks, AOEs. There she is. I'm not gonna go through this. I'll go through her skills here. Attacks the enemy with a fan, dealing damage proportional to the enemy's max health. If the caster's stack focus is more than 5, lose, loses all focus and activate Razor Wind Fan. So with the skill 1, you can activate the ultimate if you have uh, 6 focus or more. Because it, it states that it ha the focus has to be more than 5, so 6 plus. And uh, her skill 2 is an AoE. Uh, after awakening, attacks all enemies by waving a fan. Damage dealt increases with more enemies. Grant the caster immunity for one turn after attacking. So this is a three turn cooldown. It doesn't say... It, it, I guess it's a three turn after skill ups. Uh, well, we'll know uh, when it drops. But uh, yeah, you gain one focus with uh, skill one, skill two, and uh, the, ultimate, uh, the ultimate skill three, you get uh, three focus. And... Uh, yeah, the ultimate is attacks all enemies by creating a powerful gust of wind with a 65% chance to decrease defense for two turns. Effect chance increased by 20% when Razor Wind Fan is triggered by Windbreak Fan. So basically, you could open up, if let's say you're manually, even the AI will use the ultimate first usually. So you gain three focus, then you're like, okay, uh, use the second skill, now you're at four focus and you use the skill one twice you're at six focus so if the caster stack focus is more than five loses all focus so i believe that you're gonna have to attack an addition an additional time for it to trigger it could actually trigger as soon as you get six focus because it's going to be more than five that's why they said if the caster stack focus is more than five so you use the ultimate, you use skill 2, you're at 4, and then, yeah, you're gonna have to use uh, uh, 2 more, uh, like, skill 1, and then you're gonna be at 6, then it's gonna pop. Oh, wait. Windbreak fan will not attack, it's gonna be replaced with uh, Razor Wind fan instead. Yeah, Windbreak fan will not be used. So that's... That's strong, like, she's got two area attacks already, and then you can trigger the ultimate when it's still on cooldown for them, from what I'm getting, and then you could potentially just have uh, ult skill 3 ultimate AoE, skill 2 AoE, and then uh, three time, four, uh, two times skill 1, and that second time is going to be become the ultimate so yeah a lot of aoe and i believe like probably like the chance to uh, decrease defense actually yeah it's probably gonna get increased with skill ups up to like 15 percent increase so it becomes a hundred percent when you trigger it with uh, skill one anyways cool stuff i'm not pulling for her she's not limited but uh, you never know with daily summons later down the line and the new artifact ranger exclusive and damage dealt increased by between 16 percent and 32 percent when attacking an ice elemental target yeah like she sounds really strong for banshee and this looks uh strong for banshee as well yep so drop rate up for both and uh, Bellona's side story, two keys to freedom. So we're gonna get a bunch of rewards, always good. And uh, what is this? Event currency, okay, so the stuff you, you use to buy and uh, you use this currency to buy stuff in the shop, the event shop. Attack health, defense up 50% for Bellona. And 30% attack health up for says Araminta, Lots, and Rin. Once you clear all stage in normal, you can do it in world. 
You can receive urgent missions. And uh, okay. Dragon's Rat, Curse Ash, Slime Jelly, Malagora Seed, nice. Okay, so a bunch of stuff, like the usual deal here. And a uh, bunch of leaves, really good. Any gold transmit stone? Silver all over the place here. No, so it's uh, three silver this time. Now this thing is real cool. Artifact selling, limit breaking, improvement. So when you sell artifact three star or higher, you can obtain a new uh, uh, material, a new resource called Powder of Knowledge. And you can exchange those for a new five star limit breaker bottle of knowledge. So that's really good, especially for free to play players. You can actually uh, limit break the uh, super rare artifacts. Now I did feed some of my three star artifacts just for purely for experience and I'm sure a bunch of other players did the same so that's unfortunate there. We could have gotten uh, those powder of a couple powder of knowledge. So it won't work of course on like on artifacts from side stories and challenges. Powder capable of dismantling items containing mysterious power and transmitting the hidden knowledge within them. Okay, so here the price, the amount of uh, powder of knowledge and the gold cost is going to go up the higher the amount of times you've limit broken the artifact. But look, I mean, you can do it on uh, 3, 4 and 5 star. Now that is very cool price is much higher for five star of course but even four star they're hard to get like so if you want to limit break th those that's good uh, I'm I'm gonna be saving for five star but uh, I don't know like Aureus is so good for knights and we'll see uh, so here's are the here's the artifacts that don't provide powder of knowledge and now the part of, part of knowledge shop, we're gonna actually buy, straight up buy five star artifacts out of this place. Cost is high, but it's gonna be on a rotation every four weeks, it's gonna change. Uh, first week, it's Durandal, Holy Sacrifice, Bloodstone. Uh, she made her staff for four. 5 stars and 4 star Hellcutter, Sira Ren, Eliha's uh, Knife and Adam and uh, Shield. These items will change after the update on 2... Okay, uh, 6th of February. That is cool, very cool. So that's the item to limit break 5 star artifacts. And here in the shop you can only Available one time per account, but this is going to refresh every uh, month. So you can buy uh, a bottle of knowledge every month. If you have enough powder, of course, and if that's what you're going for. But I mean, it's better to, if, if there's a 5-star artifact, of course you're going to save for that. It's better to just save your powder until you get uh, the artifact that you want to show up. Because uh, I mean, just a limit break plus three enhancement on an artifact is not is is not too much compared to like a brand new artifact that you might never get. You know, definitely gonna be saving my powder. So you can now, from what I'm reading, you can limit break uh, if you use, let's say, two of the same artifact with uh, that both are limit broken. You can feed them to each other and uh, you. The, the amount of limit breaks is gonna carry over to uh, the one you're uh, feeding feeding it into. A uh, bunch of labyrinth uh, raid labyrinth improvement and bug bug fixes. Now finally, like the bosses, uh, it says that in normal difficulty the rate, drop rate of each boss exclusive epic uh, equipment has been increased by twenty percent. That's huge. 
you're not getting normal like rare to hero uh, heroic grade items anymore from bosses which is really good because that was that was super annoying so instead you're gonna get a, an extra I guess coronation souvenir if you don't end up getting an epic item hell difficulty uh, same deal here can't get the rare to heroic grade from bosses anymore oh wait what not only necklace and rings, heroic to epic grade drop. Okay. So you can't know which items you're getting now. They're gonna be sap covered items. You see, like in the image. So you can't like figure out a path to get the best items, like I've been doing so many times. They're really like you can't reset drops on the same week, and now you can't. Uh, you can't like take the best path to get the best drops because you don't know what you're gonna get so I, I guess it's not gonna be as time-consuming for me as it was before and for other players that have been doing the same so I guess that's a plus but we cannot like min max and get like best stuff for the least amount of uh, uh, la uh, labyrinth compasses anymore so yeah th they will be revealed in the screen like this You'll see the garbage like Crow got here. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there's some new stuff being added to the Logistic Officer Shop. It's actually pretty good. Nightmare Mask for 3 and the Heart of Hypocrisy, uh, Hypocrisy for 3. Like, you could spend a, like, a few days trying to farm one of these if you're unlucky. So, uh, a lot of players are going to be happy about this, I'm sure. And there's a new necklace here for 10. It looks pretty good. Uh, it's, there's a picture after. A necklace in hell as well. The stats are fixed, but then it's random, of course. It's a neck with attack percentage, so it's not, not crit damage. But still, attack percentage, it's good. Depends where it's gonna roll, but... Uh, Unity, uh, here's the difference. Normal one is uh, Unity set and the Hell version is on the Rage set. Stats are better on the Rage set, of course it's from Hell, but uh, if you want the Unity set, you're gonna get the one in Normal. So, some bugs with monsters and stats have been nerfed. Health of Azimuth's Hunters have uh, uh, reduced by 20%. Corrupted web in hell like it changed I'm not gonna go over everything, but just going through it quickly. Oh Wow attack of elite monsters in Both difficulties have been decreased by 20% and their health has been decreased by up to 10% as well Yeah, those like one-shot mechanics sometime So this is just a uh, Kill description change. Okay, yeah. This was like a bug on Carcanus. He was using Crush when the health was above 50%. Now, if you're entering the raid labyrinth for the first time, uh, roll capital as Macalis, you will be forced to do the first area first uh, until you, you kill Devour Arakan and then you can unlock the rest of the areas. Kind of weird because, like, for some, like, uh, Secretary Vera seems to be easier than Devour Arakan. So, this could be unfortunate for some players. And the another thing that's unfortunate is that you cannot go in other areas to potentially just like if you're trying to you cannot kill any boss let's say you just want to kill the elites to potentially just get uh, the epic crit ring you can't do it anymore so yeah or just try to get heroic items to get like uh, part of the unity set or the rage set that's that's not cool but uh, I guess they're trying to help the player base I'm sure some players like cannot kill bosses but and they could have killed uh, the elite so now if you can kill the boss you just just go farm tier 4 uh, speed items in the uh, just the normal labyrinth 
that cost one labyrinth compass to enter. Now that's pretty cool. Hero close up func uh, function. You can take some nice screenshot, make some nice uh, thumbnails finally. Cool stuff. So Kise and the artifact Alexis Basket move to the normal Covenant Summon Pool. And uh, some description fix, Karen. Vigor from Can cannot cannot be dispelled. Okay. Sid's increased speed buff expire at the end of a turn. The effect of the skill win resolve no longer carry over into the next turn. So I guess there was a uh, Sid was a bit stronger there. Wind's resolve. Okay. Sometimes Silkstorm Arrow did not activate properly during auto battle. That's good. I use Silk a lot, so we're fixing that. When die, uh, uh, someone's been telling me that I, I've been calling uh, Diane Diane, but uh, it could be a D in. D in. Let me know which one it is. I'm not quite sure at this point. Uh, so yeah, it's just her effects were carried over on the next battle and hunt that that's odd okay i've never seen it i believe strength of barry given to random heroes by shooting star akatis resurrection mag magic has been doubled that that's huge uh, okay so the ad and the with golem cannot be silenced or provoked they just changed the description on the uh, wyvern, wyvern uh, fire breath, so it's more clear how the, it uses the skill back to back if it doesn't have uh, two debuffs um, in uh, stage 9 and 10, or one in the stages below 8 or under. So, a bunch of change. Uh, nerf in the abyss, floor 68, 71. Uh, when you level up in battle, uh, you're you're getting the stats immediately during the battle. So I'm probably skipping some stuff. Okay, here, the arena is gonna end on uh, February the 20th. So it's important that you go and you save your conquest points, right? Because you want to get the unknown slate if you haven't the one that the thing that costs 2,800 or 2,700. Uh, this you can use on a five-star hero to uh, to increase their memory imprint by one, the rank of their memory imprint, or just like just unlock it if you haven't already. So th like that's huge. You use that on a limited hero, and uh, you're getting their memory on imprint unlocked if you haven't already. Definitely get that. Uh, I mean, that's way more important than, than the gear that shows up in there. Uh, like the gear is not that big of a deal. It's good, but it's all random where it's gonna roll and what how the rolls are gonna be Definitely get the unknown slate Skill preview there's now uh, three dummies so you can see the full area uh, attacks effects Okay Okay, music has returned to the original one and uh, and correct background music played during certain stage okay okay so I guess that's it <clears throat> pretty big patch a bunch of changes this hero that's getting released is not limited so I mean uh, she she looks good though uh, for Banshee, even for for PvP, like just straight up defense down on uh, her uh, ultimate, that's huge. And then you you have double AOEs. Yeah, 65% chance is quite high. Uh, it, it it probably goes up to 80% chance with skill enhancement. And multiplier on that thing, uh, we'll see what it is. And the more enemies, the more damage this heal 2 will deal. So, Arena, you start, you know, it's 4v4. And this is damage proportional to the to the enemy's max health as well. That against uh, bosses is gonna 
probably be amazing. They scale with the crit crit damage. And she scales with attack, and you want her to have uh, high speed, like they say. They say stack attack and speed, but yeah, that's pretty much the usual on an attacker. And you want her to cycle through her things. Like, if you can get her to go quick with her turns, you could have a pretty high uptime on the defense down debuff, and it's an AoE too, so another plus. And the uh, chance to land goes up 20% when it triggers with the. Uh, when you have six focus, skill one get replaced by skill three, from what I'm getting. The immunity for one turn that's a plus, but I mean, it, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have with all the debuffs going on in Banshee, especially. So that's cool. Yeah, so that's good. You could, you could use her with lots. You know, wow, that that could be crazy. It could be crazy. She she like she goes. Wait, yeah, but she would have to go first. And it depends how much what's her base speed is. You like pop the ultimate. Lot goes. Give another turn, and she uses skill two. Now there's defense down on a, a few target or all or no one if you're unlucky, and then uh, there in arena is four targets. So this is gonna deal more damage. Skill two, and then she's got immunity for one turn. So the enemy is now going, uh, whoever's left, uh, depends on the multiplier, on the multiplier on these skills. It could be not that high. I mean, it already has defense down. But, uh, I mean, if she's super powered up, you've got your best gear onto her. She could be very dangerous. I mean, you're not gonna one-shot stall teams. But this could be interesting. Yep. Well, good luck with the pulling, guys. If you're going for her. Uh, this new artifact, that's straight up damage increase. Against ice elemental target. So, like, PvP against ice. Uh, Banshee. Like, what? Like whatever you're fighting. If it's ice, that's a big damage multiplier increase. Like, 32%. This is like a... A different multiplier from all the other stuff in the game so it, it is like between 16 and 32 32% more damage which is huge yeah a bunch of freebies here from the event this looks like when we complete the side story we get isn't that the thing for a free random four star artifact it doesn't say so here what it is Yeah, but good stuff in the shop, the usual stuff. Yeah, alright guys, that's that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, I'll do a more in-depth review of her uh, later on. But I'm sure a bunch of people are gonna uh, pull for her. I wouldn't as free to play. Like I did it for Kisei, but like it's so random, you, 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 there's no pity system. There's no 121 summon and you, you're guaranteed to get her, so you could be really unlucky or you could be lucky and get her in a few. I mean, it's it's all a gamble. If you like the design, if you like, if if she's gonna fill a spot in your team where, uh, uh, like, uh, in a weak spot in your team, like if you're you need AOE, if you're like uh, you need a earth AOE damage there, if you need an AOE defense uh, defense breaker. Especially if she has high base speed, she, she can fit in arena, uh, in a ton of like in offensive teams. We'll see what her speed is. Uh, so yeah, cool, cool update. I love the thing with the artifacts. That's so cool. And buying like straight up buying a five star artifact, even four star as well. And they're not expensive, like 60? I mean, 60 could... Maybe a three, sacrificing a 3-star artifact could only give one powder, so I'm not gonna speak too quick here. But yeah, definitely get your Unknown Slate in the uh, Conquest Point shop, guys. Uh, yeah, you've got uh, until... Uh, well... February the... 20... 20th? 20th? Let's see here. Where is it at? Huge patch though. 
Yeah, the the twentieth of February. Work on that definitely. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.